Hey guys, She's Crafty here, and today's video is inspired by wall posters. So I decided to make my grandson his very own customized poster using all Dollar Tree products. The first thing you're going to need is a foam board from the Dollar Tree. I'm also going to be using this contact paper that I did have left over from another project, but you're free to use wrapping paper at the Dollar Tree, which will also give you the same effect. But for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and use this self-adhesive contact paper that I did purchase from Amazon quite a few months ago, and I'll make sure to link it down below. I'm going to make sure that my paper is properly fitted. So I'm going to go ahead and place a line of where I want to mark the paper. I did cut a little bit extra so that way it can flap over the actual foam board. You want to make sure when peeling away the back that you align the contact paper properly against the trim of the board. And you want to make sure that there aren't any air bubbles. I'm going to go ahead and align it at the brim and I'm just going to take my fingers and smooth it down. I'm going to be slowly pulling the back away from the contact paper and using my opposite hand to smooth down the surface so that way there aren't any air bubbles. This part you really need to take your time with. And as you guys see, I'm just slowly removing some of the paper from underneath and just using my hands to smooth out the surface. Now I did pick these up at the Dollar Tree and this are their Halloween costumes. You can also find these ones here, but I'm gonna save these for another project which will also be poster boards for my grandson. And I'm also going to be using these reflective mirror scraps that I had from another project. You can also use wrapping paper as well for this portion right here. I'm going to be using these to make the eyes pop a little bit. Being that the eyes are kind of cut open and they have holes in them, I want them to kind of reflect. So I'm going to just take some of my reflective mirror paper and tape that on. But you can also use this wrapping paper, which I also have from the Dollar Tree. So being that I'm going to be using the reflective mirror paper scraps, I'm just going to take some of my duct tape and just tape that on the inner side of the mask. So once I've taped that over to the eyes, I'm also going to tape it over the open mouth parts. Now that I have my reflective mirror paper all taped inside of the mask, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tags from the body armor. I'm going to make sure that my mask and body armor is centered and I'm going to take the straps from the mask and I'm going to mark where I want these to be on the board by using just a thick marker that's also available at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take my X-Acto knife which you can also purchase at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut a small slit into the foam board where I want my mask straps to go through. Once I have that small hole, I'm then going to go ahead and take the mask and I'm going to place it through and pull it through the opposite side and I'm going to be using my duct tape to adhere the mask to the board. You want to make sure that the mask strap is pulled nice and tight so that way the mask is stable and does not move. Once I've gotten that already adhered, I'm going to do the same with the body armor going to take where the straps are placed at and I'm going to use my marker 
and I'm going to mark marks into the foam board of where I want to slit and cut into the foam board. Once I've gotten those holes, I'm then going to take the straps of the body armor and I'm going to cut that in half. And I'm going to place it through the board and tie it in a knot. I will then make sure to use some of my duct tape to adhere it in place. This part was super easy and here comes the fun part. For the trimming of the board, I'm going to be using these cool poster board trims that I did pick up from the Dollar Tree. You do get 14 in a pack and they do have an array of colors. I decided to use the metallic red ones and these are really easy to attach. You can just use some scotch tape for this portion of the project. Make sure that the scotch tape is transparent so that way you don't see it on the board. And you just want to tape this around the entire board until it's covered. Once you've gotten that all said and done, it's now time to add some cool stickers. These I did also pick up from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to write some popular sayings that I would think that a superhero would say in the middle of a crime fight. And you can just place these wherever you like. I also did pick this cool wall decor up from the Dollar Tree, which you can also use. This comes with rocket ships and spaceships. And I kind of thought that this kind of superhero was kind of like outer space. So I'm going to use the spaceships along with the stars just to kind of liven it up. And I'm also going to be using these glow in the dark stars and planets that I did pick up from Amazon. And I'll make sure to leave link that below. These do glow in the dark, which will make the poster board a lot more cooler place these sporadically throughout the poster board wherever you like but you can also use anything of your choice i'm pretty sure dollar tree has some really cool glow in the dark stickers that you can also use but if you really want to lighten things up you can also try these which are available at the dollar tree and these are their halloween shackles i did pick up three and they can hook onto one another i'll be using my duct tape as well for this portion of the project and you want to just take the duct tape and place it on the shackle part that is behind or kind of away from the board and tape it onto the board and you can also tape it in the trimming of the red border i will show you guys how i did that in a few seconds And as you guys see, I'm just going to place it onto the shackle that is kind of away or towards the back of the board. And you want to wrap it around just one good time. And you want to place it on either the back of the board, as you see I did right here. This will allow the shackles to fall forward onto the board. I'm going to take the corners of the board and make sure that the shackle is kind of sitting on top of it. As you guys see, I did have to hook onto another shackle. And the ends are open on these so you can easily remove or add. And as I'm showing you guys right here, I'm wrapping the tape around and I'm kind of lifting the red trimming so that way it can be in between the trimming and the board, the tape. I then went ahead and purchased some of these LED strip lights from Walmart. This is the six and a half foot LED strip lights and these do plug into the wall. They do self adhesive. I decided to tape them in between with some duct tape. And these LED strip lights are actually behind the red trim border. And I did use duct tape to adhere them.
now as for hanging this picture i do have these hooks and you can also pick these up from the dollar tree but i had these for quite some years so i'm going to find the center of my board by using my tape measure and this is the center you want to make sure that you find the center so that way your picture can hang properly i'm also going to be using some of the gorilla glue right before i place the hook these hooks do attach and they have prongs that you can stick into the foam board but i'm also going to be using some glue on the outside of it as well as some really strong tape so that way it can press onto the actual picture hook making sure that it will adhere to the board i decided to leave this tape on after everything was dry because this is the back these tapes also came from the dollar tree which are really strong and here's the finished look this board came out so pretty and these self-adhesive led lights are amazing this is the six and a half one foot and they are available at walmart i do have it on the flashing mode but you can always change the settings as they do come with the remote you may want to use an extension usb cord which you can also find at the dollar tree i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys on the next one